Reaction to this historic news all morning long. Hundreds of comments pouring in on our Care 11 Facebook page. And we're also hearing from President Trump and President-elect Joe Biden for the first time. Now, as the debate over his impeachment happened in the House, President Trump released a statement, once again urging that there be no violence, no law-breaking, and no vandalism of any kind. He also called on all Americans to help ease tensions. And then later in the day, the president released a five-minute video through the White House's Twitter account, doubling down on that message without mentioning the impeachment specifically. No true supporter of mine could ever endorse political violence. Our President-elect Joe Biden also tweeted a response to the impeachment news, saying in part the House voted to impeach and hold President Trump accountable. Now the process continues to the Senate, and I hope they'll deal with their constitutional responsibilities on impeachment while also working on the other urgent business of this nation. And remember, two-thirds of the Senate are needed to convict Trump, and only a majority of senators are needed to ban Trump from holding future office. And as we've been mentioning all morning long is the likelihood of this trial will be uh, during the Biden administration. Yeah, and we'll have to see if President Trump's message uh, gets through to the people who caused, uh, you know, the violence right. uh, the weeks before. Thanks a lot for that, Alicia.